All right, guys, so um, we're going to do a select number of problems from um, homework uh, based on the lesson where we were multiplying, dividing rational expressions. All right, so here I selected 5, 6, 8, and 9. So some multiplication for uh, number 5. Uh, we're simply multiplying, so we are going to see if anything cancels. So we got, notice that we got four x's on the numerator here. We got one x here. So one of these x's cancels, leaves us with three left over there. We have three y's here and five here. So that means three of them canceled here, and then we leave leaves us with two left over on the bottom. All right, remember that 21 is the same thing as 7 times 3, so one of the 7s cancels. All right, I think that's everything that can cancel. So now it leaves us with um, x to the 3rd times to x to the 7th. So we got a 2 here. We got, um, here, let me rewrite this part. We got x to the 3rd for this guy, and then we have an x to the 7th for this guy. So that leaves us with x to the 10th. We got a 3 on the bottom, and we got y to the second power here, and then y to the first power here, so it leaves us with a total of three y's. All right, so for this guy, we got a factor. Uh, factors of negative 6 that add up to 1. So that would be 3 and 2, uh, negative 2. So this becomes x plus 3, x minus 2. We got 2x squared on the bottom. Uh, this we can pull out of 2x. So we got 2x times x plus 4. All right, for here we can pull, we can factor out. That becomes factors of 12 that add up to 7. So that would be 3 and 4. So that's x plus 3 x plus 4. So notice that we got x plus 4 cancels. We got a, we got a 2 that cancels. Uh, one of the x, this x cancels, so we, that leaves us with 1x left over, all right? So we got 1x left over. Uh, the x plus 3 cancels. So it leaves us with x minus 2 over. Uh, we got 1x here, and that's it. All right, so um, number eight, we remember that when you're dividing fractions, you use KFC. Uh, so you change that, you keep that, and then you flip this guy. All right, so 16xy over 3x to the fifth, y to the fifth, change this to multiplication, flip this guy. Uh, 9xy to the seventh over 8x squared. All right, so it looks like uh, one of the x's cancels here um, with this guy. So let me uh, let me just rewrite this just to make it easier. All right, so we got 16 is 4 times 4. We got x, y. 9 is 3 times 3. We got 7 y's. 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. And I just write this just to make it easier uh, for you guys. So we got a 3, we got 5x's, uh, 5y's, uh, 8 is um, 2 times, or yeah, 8 is 2 times 4, and then we got um, 2 x's. All right, so we got one of the x's cancels, one of the 4's cancels. One of the threes cancels. One of the y's cancels here. We got y there cancels, y there cancels, y there cancels, and another y there cancels. Uh, we got an x here that cancels. So it looks like we just have that. We got this guy. We got a 2, we got an x left over, and then we got these x's left over. So it looks like we got 3, y, or we got a 4 here. 
All right, so three times four is 12. So we got 12. Uh, y, we got three Y's here. So that's Y to the third over. Oh, I forgot here. Um, sorry guys, I made it. So I forgot something here. Um, four is two times two and then one of the twos cancels. So really we have just one two left over. So we got a two, we got y to the third over. Uh, we got uh, how many x's? We got, it looks like we got five left over. So that's our final answer. All right, so let me Uh, make that smaller. All right. So this one, we got a number nine. We got to factor everything. So we can pull out a 5x there. So 5x, x plus 2. Uh, this guy we can factor. There's the factors of negative 6 to add up to negative 1. So it looks like it's negative 3 and positive 2. So we got x minus 3, x plus 2, divided by, uh, we can pull out a 15 and an x squared. So 15 times 1 is 15, and then we got 1x left over. 15 times 3 is 45. And then remember, this is a difference of squares, so it becomes a plus b, a minus b. So 3 times 3 would give us 9. So x plus 3, x minus 3. All right, so now we do the KFC stuff. So we keep flip chain. So keep the first one. Uh, change this to multiplication, flip this guy. Alright, so we got x minus 3's cancel from top and bottom. x plus 3, x plus 3, x plus 2, x plus 2. We got a 5. Uh, this becomes 5 times 3, which one of the 5's cancels. So uh, one of the x's cancels. So it looks like you got 3x left over. And looks like we got an invisible one. And whenever you cancel everything on the top or bottom, it leaves you with one, one left over. So we got a 1 over 3x. That's our final answer. OK. So more division. So we're going to do KFC. So we got 2xyz over x squared z squared. We're going to change that to multiplication. We're going to flip the second fraction. So 6 is the same thing as 2 times, oops, 2 times 3. 3 cancels there, 2 cancels there. We got one of the x's cancels, one of the y's cancels, um, makes that y squared. So let me change that to a y squared. Uh, another x cancels there, one of the z's cancel, gets rid of that. We got another z cancels though, however. So it looks like we got uh, an invisible one left over. And then it looks like we've got a y squared left over. So it leaves us with 1 over y squared. All right, so number 15, we're going to factor the numerator. So we got to use the AC method. So we got to multiply 3 and negative 2 together. So that's going to be negative 6. Factors of negative 6 to add up to positive 1. Oops, let me rewrite that a little bit better. Factors of negative 6 to add up to positive 1. And that would be 3 and negative 2. Okay, so 
we got to split the middle term into the three, the two things that we just found, 3x and negative 2x. Rewrite those guys. Factor by grouping. We can pull out a 3 and an x from the first one. We can pull out a negative 2 from the second one. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. These match. Make that one of your factors. Make that, the rest of it, your other factor. All right, that takes care of factoring for the top. All right, so we got x plus 1, 3x minus 2. All right, so for this guy, we got the factors of 2 that add up to 3, which is 2 and 1. So we got x plus 1, x plus 2. We're going to, okay, we're going to use KFC. So we're going to change that to a times. We are going to flip that fraction. So it's going to become x plus 2 over 2x. So it looks like the x plus 1 cancels. x plus 2 cancels. Leaves us with 3x minus 2 over 2x. And that's our final answer for that one. I'm going to go ahead and reduce that. Oops. Here, let me uh, do that again. So now let's do this one. This one we can factor. Factors of 48 that add up to negative 14. Uh, looks like it's going to be negative 8 and negative 6. All right, so we have x minus 8, x minus 6 over. Uh, we can pull out an x squared there. So or an x, I mean, sorry. Uh, x times x minus 6. Change that division problem to a multiplication problem. And okay, so for this guy, uh, technically 3x minus 24 is the same thing as 3x minus 24 over 1. So then you can flip that guy and make it 1 over 3x minus 24. Okay, let me rewrite this um, fraction again because we're going to rewrite the 3x minus 24. So 3x minus 24, we can pull out a 3, makes it x minus 8, because 3 times x is 3x, 3 times 8 is 24. x minus 8s cancel, x minus 6 cancels, and leaves us with 1 on top, and then a 3x on the bottom. And that's our final answer. All right, uh, you should be able to do the rest of the problems. It's just a matter of practicing and learning, uh, reviewing your factoring.